welcome to the last tutorial of root finding functions well this is a false position method it seems to be a very fuzzy method but in fact it's the simplest one once you understand the trick behind in this method we have initially a range just like we had for by section method however the difference is that it do not necessarily divide the range into two equal parts but rather randomly for instance we have initial range from x0 to x1 so the next point will be x2 we find x2 by putting x0 and x1 into the formula from secant method that gives you x2 the next thing is that what should I select for the second iteration well for this see the function sign 8x2 if it is positive then select the other point on which the function is negative so as the function 8x2 is positive while the function 8x1 is negative so the next iteration point is x1 and x2 because this fulfills the criteria of the range critical end points where the function value is opposite and sign for x1 and x2 and when I put these two points into the formula again for the second iteration I get to x3 and once more the function at x3 is positive and it will be positive until you get your root so carry over iterations until new point falls right on the target point now to get a more clear picture let's consider an example e raised to the power x minus 3x square for instance it's any function of x where x is ranging from 0 to 1 so the formula from secant method which will be here f for x2 equal to x1 minus f of x1 into x1 minus x0 over f of x1 minus f of x0 take 0 is x0 and 1 is x1 so equate x0 equal to 0 and x1 equal to 1 so now to find x2 I write down this function in my calculator for x2 but the things to be noted here is that I will replace the recent point with x while the other one with y the recent point here is x1 so I consider x1 is x while x0 is y for calculator once you write down the formula in the calculator press Kelsey it asks you for value of x and the value of x here is x0 which is 1 while the value of y here is x0 which is 0 we get x2 0.78020272171 now to find x3 write down to the actual function e raised to the power x minus 3x square press Kelsey and when and ask for value of x press uns to enter at the value of x2 so the value of function on x2 is positive while the value of function on x1 is negative so the two points for the next iteration is x1 and x2 x2 is the recent one I replace it with x while x1 with y so for the second iteration when I press Kelsey it asks for x but is the x2 is already stored and the calculator just press equal and when it asks for y enter 1 we got 0 0.90286673357 as x3 in fact you don't need to go back into the original function now to check the point but for the sake of cautiousness you can do this and go back press Kelsey enter the x3 value which stored is ans again it reflects me positive value at point x3 so remember the function value at x1 is negative while x8 x3 is positive so keep it x1 and x3 for the next iteration and when I press Kelsey 
enter x3 for x which is already stored inside press equal and when asked for y press equal again because we already have x1 as one we got x4 0 0.9096525531 and to find x5 bring the function press Kelsey enter the ones, which mean x4 and there you see it's positive again so the function value 8x4 is positive once more. When I press Kelsey, press equal, press equal again, we got x5 is 0 0.90999. Check this point again into the function and see the nature of sign. It's positive obviously. So though you don't need to go back, that's the trick. But as for verifications, press Kelsey, equal, Again equal, we got x6 0 0.91000670045. Now further I'm not going to the actual function, but rather directly pressing Kelsey and then ans to enter x6 in place of x and y is 1. We get 0 0.91000752960. You can press again Kelsey, enter answer and then two time equal. Repeat it now. Kelsey, uns equal equal. Kelsey, uns equal equal. And the tenth iteration, zero point nine one zero 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 seven five two five. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and do not forget to mark your like.